I am Duratan, son of Garoth, chieftain of the Frostwolf clan. What is up dudes? Welcome back to another video here on the Dude Gaming channel. We are back here on EU4 World of Warcraft mod and we are back with the Frostwolf clan. So in the last video, we ended off taking on good old Shadow Wrath or New Aerodeath on here, and it was one rough, rough war. But the map looks a little different, so Warsong brought us into a war with both Saber Maw and the other guys. I can't remember who it, where it was, but we ended up taking all of them out. We gave Warsong most of the land. All I did was take these three provinces just so I could link up with this area over here. And uh, I took Torum, yeah, Torum as a um, vassal, so we'll have them helping us in the war. Go ahead and improve that, and we are able to take this area, the Black Fang area, to link all this up. Finally, finally. So yeah, that's pretty much what has happened off camera. Another thing is Black Rock is now L or a vassal Dragon Maw. They went ahead and tacked him without us because I wasn't really paying attention. I was trying to get our aggressive expansion down, trying to get a bunch of stuff cored. Uh, our loans are finally paid off, etc., etc. So we were able to do most of that, got our manpower back up. And we do not have a um, truce with New Aerodeath anymore. And they are by themselves now. The one thing that's happening right now that's a little terrifying is Warsong's at war with the Shatterhand, Engarosh, Shadow Moon, Bloodmane, Daggerjaw, and Gloomshade. So, Shadow Moon has gotten huge, 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 and the Shattered Hand has grown exponentially as well. So, it's gonna be literally us, Dragon Maw, Warsong versus those two to end off Draenei, or Draenor rather. But let's get into this because we want to take out new Aerodeath as quick as possible. Ward and I? Where are these guys at? Oh, so there's just the one little province down there, I'm sure. Shadow Moon's going to attack them eventually. But I think whenever I was looking at them, they only had 17,000 troops. So we can get up to 31,000. New Aerodeath only has 17. So what we're going to do is we have 18, 4, and 4, which is not good because our stacks are all messed up. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop 2 Cav, 2 or the rest are going to be Catapults, and then we're going to get our army up and running and then take on New Aerodeath. Hey right, guys, we have moved in the future quite a bit. Um, we were able to core or get a claim on New Aerodeath here. Ah, okay. So we should be able to take these guys out pretty quick and easy. Um, see what happens. We have Dragon Maul, Torum is right there. Maybe Warsong will come into the war eventually. That's still unfortunate. Shat Shattered Hand took this right here from Warsong. I'm not a fan of the Shattered Hand, but maybe we can catch Shadow Moon and Shattered Hand by themselves eventually. Possibly. Probably not, but we'll see what happens. But we're going to conquer Shatterath City. We'll come right here. Okay, there we go. They are so fast. Okay, we should easily be able to take these guys out this time around. They should not be much of an issue anymore. They're moving up into here. Are they heading over here somewhere? We are going to send our colonists there now. Doorwood. Okay. So I'll let Dragon Maul do their thing over there, and we're just gonna try to keep following these guys around until we can catch them. Killed the 1000 stack. There we go. Finally caught up to him. We just stack wiped them. Awesome. So we're gonna go here. Some guys come here. And this war should be very much over already. Just 
do that. Happen. Right, move these guys here. Here. Also, I can't believe. <sighs> you can't dragon mom. You better not take Shadow Wrath City from us. That'll be very unfortunate if they do. here in the fields and wait for them to finish up taking Shadow Rock City. Like I said, I'm going to be upset if they do end up taking that. Let's see here. Okay, Outsiders. Fort Defense would be very nice. And Merchants. We're going to go ahead and do Distrusted. We get Fort Maintenance, negative 5%, and Fort Defense, plus 15%. I am currently building quite a few uh, outposts or uh, forts around in strategic areas, just so we have something uh, to defend ourselves when we do go to war with sh the Shadow Hand and stuff like that. We'll sit right here. They should be done. Let's go. All right, so... For starters, we gotta deal with the Gordonai. Don't really need anything from them. We're just gonna take money. They'll get eaten up from, I'm sure, the Shadow Moon people here soon. Alright, so they didn't take Shadow Wrath City from us. We could actually take it for only 16. Move out from there. Coalition against us. New Aerodeath and the Shattered Hand and the Burning Blade. The Burning Blade doesn't scare me any. The Shattered Hand does. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this. Yeah, we're just going to take this for now. And we don't have a Diplomat to send. Okay, because I can deal with the Burning Blade, New Aerodath, and the Shattered Hand, but I cannot deal with anything more than that. So we're going to go ahead and take this. We have officially taken Shatter Wrath City, a 31 development. That's awesome. That's going to cause an arm and a leg to core, but oof. Yeah, that's going to hurt us for a little bit, but got to root out that corruption as soon as possible. We don't want to join a coalition just yet. We'll have plenty to do some states real quick. Okay, the Zoran Marsh. And there's one more. Temple of Shinar. Yeah, that should be good. Can't do that quite yet. Fender of Faith, Trade. Yeah, yeah. So we have a fort here. I need to put another fort. Yeah, let's do this. We're going to put a fort here, and then as soon as they take down that fort, we're going to have another one right here. And then one right here. So if Shadow Moon wants to come up through here, they'll have to go through a couple of forts before they make it into um, this area. And... We have one up here just in case we take on Dragon Maul and then get them getting all the way to her capital is going to take a long time for them. But it's getting to the time where we'll be facing them for too long. But who's allied to the Burning Blade? Nobody. So we could take on the Burning Blade and take their provinces. And we'd officially be on, I don't know, they're at war with, oh man, that's interesting what's going to happen here. War Song's at war with New Air Death, they're at war with New Air Death, so they're about to fall apart completely. Oh my gosh, that was quick. And oh man, that was... That was so fast. 
We also have the Bone Chewers to deal with too, which we could take on the Bone Chewers and the Shattered Hand by themselves. So that is definitely something we need to do. Uh, the Shattered Hand has 34,000 troops right now. That's sketchy. They're only supposed to have 28, they have 34. So probably when we take on the Shattered Hand, what we're gonna do is have our actual army build up some funds in our treasury and have a have Dragon Maul, hopefully Warsong, and have a mercenary army running around as well. Along with Torum, so if we can get the Bone Chewers and Shattered Hand in that war, and that's it. If we can take out Shattered Hand, that'll weaken Shadow Moon, and then we can push on through and take down Shadow Moon after that eventually. But we'll see. I'm really looking into taking down the Burning Blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and build a spy network here. Take them down. We also have Dagger Jaw, but they're Blood Mane. Where is Blood Mane? Is it these guys? Oh, they're just the little people down there. Yeah. We could take down these guys, I bet, with four Torum. No, they don't have anything? That's kind of surprising, actually. So we can give that to Torum. I don't know. What we're gonna do is, though, we're gonna go ahead and we can't afford it. Yeah, we can. We have 40 ducats. But we're going to continue putting on colonies here. And... It's back here. But we're going to continue making our colonies here in this area above Gloom Lake. And get this burning blade. Yeah, there's just no way we could take on these guys. I'm going to have to decline. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. That is just a horrible war they got themselves in. Should I attack the Bone Chewer now? Without dealing with the Shattered Hand? Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, even with Dragon Maul beating in their quarter, it's just not a winning war for them. But I guess we're just gonna go into the future, wait for our stuff to core. And, golly, this is not good. I was hoping to get Shattered Hand by themselves, but it looks like they're gonna be even more powerful because of this war. Alright guys, so that war with Warsong, Shattered Hand, etc, etc, Shattered Hand just took half a Warsong, which is not good. They... I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Um, Shadow Moon and Shattered Hand got too powerful, too quick. And we can take out the Bone Chewers, but we would be without our friends. And Warsong probably hates me. Now that I, uh, yeah, dishonor their alliance just because I knew we were not going to make it out of that war. Would not have made it. Um, I can go ahead and attack good old the Burning Blade area. It's just a bad predicament that we're in right now. Bad, bad predicament. Go ahead and just, um, it's them in the shattered hand. Who are they? A vassal of the shattered hand. We declare war on them to help out Torum. We could. So let's go ahead and just do that for them. We have no way to get over there, but they seem like they're okay. Can we ask them for access? No. 
Didn't think so. Yeah, we have no way to even get in there now. Hopefully they do okay with that. I know I just started this war. We're gonna get stuck here. Awesome, took them out. We'll go for their capital. Well, that's their capital, but we'll go for this place. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. It's the Torum. Torum. And give them. They can't take that, but we'll go ahead and just do this. That war is over. Gave them that. Okay. And now we can go to war with these guys. Burning Blade. Okay. Should easily take them out. Of course not. Torm's going for him up there. Let's say anywhere they go, they should hit a fort, so... They're not going to get far. Well, let's do that. Got the siege, we're gonna come up here and see if we can't take these guys. Help our friends, boop! They should be done. Alright. Some of these guys here. Alright. We get... Administrative technology, alright. Cancel this. And boom. Alright, so we completely took out the burning blade. But we should be able to take all of this. Help us a tiny bit, I guess. Hurrah for the horde. Guess I should have read that. Oops. Alright, we can't convert that. Oh, I just did that. Cancel. Should be able to do something, get rid of that, wait on that. And get card number five here, societal. New global unrest, negative two, that'll probably help us a little bit. Where are we at on here? Almost halfway. Get another slot. It wouldn't help to get our trade up a little bit. Or wouldn't hurt, rather. Alright, so we did take all of this down here, so we're on the doorstep of these guys. They have Angarosh, New Aerodeath. So they have. Oh my gosh. Shattered Hand is very, very strong. Very, very strong. Is there any way for us to get... If we attack them, they'd have to bring in Shattered Hand. So we can't get Shadow Moon by themselves, unfortunately. There's a vassal to show. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if we attack the Bone Chewers up here, we'd have to deal with the Shattered Hand. Dragon Maul does not. Yeah, they have a truce. It would destabilize them. All we have left is influence their nation, favors, trade, trade favors for trust. Okay. We'll definitely have to do that. Let's do that. Will that help them like us? 
I'm sure that'll go away eventually. I guess we're gonna sim forward a little bit just to see what happens. I mean, I mean, it's Dragon Maw us against Shadow Moon and Shattered Hand. If for Dragon Maw, let's see what they feel. I mean, they're not like horribly. It's like more neutral than anything. I wonder if we can get Everbloom on board with us. They have sixteen thousand troops, so we're gonna actually influence their nation. Improve some relations and see where it goes because, uh, <laughs> hostile attitude. Fix. So make sure we're neutral, friendly, whatever. And, uh, we're gonna get to the point where we can join the old horde. Yeah, it looks like they have the faction, the old horde, so hopefully that doesn't play into when we declare war on them and whatnot. All right, dudes, we have pushed into the future quite a bit this time around. We are, should be okay on Rebels. Yeah, we should be good. But unfortunately, we could only have Dragon Maw. And we did get Everbloom allied, so we can have their, what, 17,000 troops. So it's gonna be 49,000 infantry to their 27. 19 to their 15 and 19 to their 15. So my thing is if we can go ahead and take out this bone chewer group very very quickly that's already 16,000 of their troops overall. So that should help us tremendously. <sighs> Let's do this. Hopefully Warsong can accept they have been going through bankruptcy so probably not but they did ally us again so it's just <sighs> Actually, before we do this, we do want to get our stability up. Boom. And let's do this. Go straight into this. Take them out. The Fell Nation have called for a crusade against us. Well, that's not a good thing. I want to take out the, these guys as soon as we can. Don't we have to deal with them anymore. They're gone. Alright, so we're just left with these guys down here. They have... Looks like 4,000, 10,000, 2.5, 19. And they did end up... Um, annexing whoever was right here. So they have literally across the entire bottom of Draenor there. Everbloom looks like they might be crossing over now. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. We're going to take out the Bone Chewer's place as soon as possible. Probably will not be taking too much of their land. There's Everbloom now. They're taking up a lot of our bottom stuff, so let's see. Whoa. Oh, Shadow Moon got hired. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I was like, why are they here? Sending this down. Hey, let's come here real quick. Cool, took that out. Head here. Okay, let's move up here. Moving as a unit, guys, that's the best thing we can do, is just move as a unit. Oh my god, what just happened there? We just got... What? That makes no sense. We're winning as of right now. But I don't know what just happened there, that was really silly.
We're stuck on this side because of this fort. Please be safe down there, Dragon Ball. Don't do anything crazy. Are they coming up here? Oh, they're heading that way. Okay. Let's see if we can take this fort back. Just be smart, guys. That's all we have to do. Just be smart. Because the Bone Chewers are gone. And we're pretty much just taking on the Shattered Hand. So we can just be smart. Take them out. We'll be golden. Looks like they're all down here, so it's time to just start taking back everything. Because if we can weaken the Shattered Hand, we do not want them breaking free. Um, they have some forts to go through, thankfully. Ooh, let's go. Come on, War Song. Come into this war. Let's take this Shadow Hand out. Take everything up here. Take your lands back. Let's go. That's not good. We need to get over here fast. Cancel. Boom. Took that. Won that little war effort there. Let's move down here to Blade Fist. Yeah, do a war song. If we can weaken the Shattered Hand in this war, we will. We will prosper. We will make Draenor. Oh no. Um, um. We got to. Come on. Oh, they got it. Oh. This is crazy. We have we somehow allied Everbloom. We we've had you know Dragon Maw War Song joined in late. I'm not liking that. Hopefully they can make it there in time. Yeah, they got there in time. It's over, Shattered Hand. It is over. Super super lucky. We have all these allies. Still inviting us to the old horde. We are not joining the old horde. We will do this now. We're starting to push up that way. I don't really like that. I can't believe we did it. Holy smokes. It is over. The shattered hand is gone. Oh my god. Well, not gone, gone, but first and foremost, we're going to take this, this, and this. That is Torum stuff. Blackrock took that, whatever. We're gonna push. What is this here? Here. Oh, oops, wrong one. We're gonna push into here, here, and here. Coalition against two. That's okay. And then I'm gonna give Warsong some of their lands back. They deserve. Doesn't seem like we took a lot for real. It does not. But, you know, we won the war. We cut them in half. War Song is going to push down in there next time. We're going to continue pushing down here. And we still have to take some stuff from the Bone Chewers. So, with the Bone Chewers, we're just going to take two pieces of land and then leave them be. Because, um,. We still need them, because if we attack them again, obviously, you know, Shattered Hand's going to join in again, so keep doing that, playing that little little thing there. Okay, right, it's time to core all of that. We have plenty of stuff up here we need to deal with. Truce expiring, another reform happening. Oh wow, the old way, National Unrest. Uh, synthesis of experiences become a monarchy. Hmm. Become a republic, become a theocracy. 
You know, becoming a monarchy would be interesting. But then again, the old way is always not too bad. Alright, so... Yeah, I can't believe we were able to take on the Shattered Hand and win there. It was a combined effort of... Just everybody in Draenor. The Warsong Clan, the Dragon Maw Clan. Ever bloom up here against Bone Chewer and the Shattered Hand. Obviously, we took out the Bone Chewers quick and in a hurry, so it didn't affect us too much. But you know, go ahead and do that. And in the next war, I kind of forgot that we had Relentless Conquest. We honestly should have used it against the Shattered Hand, but definitely in the next war against them, we will use that. And our aggressive expansion is going to be insane, but it'll be very much worth it. But anyways guys, this is where we're going to end this video today. I had a blast, honestly, was didn't know really what we should do in terms of how we're supposed to take on the Shattered Hand and Shadow Moon since they are just a power unit here in Draenor at the moment, but we were able to take Shattered Hand down a size a little bit and that helped quite a bit. We also did not take all of New Aerodeath here, so we still have them to take care of in the next war. But I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of y'all for watching these videos. If you like the video, leave a like, comment down below. If you want to see more videos here on the Dude Gaming channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks y'all.